a very good evening to all of you my dear students welcome back to the class once again now today we have to discuss how many parties should we have in our country or in and some other countries as well so let us see whether there is any uh, possible answer to this question uh, whether the number of parties should be limited or should be fixed in a particular country let us find out right, in the chapter political parties of grade 10 let us see what is there in the topic in some countries only one party is allowed that we know we have the example of china only one party is allowed to control and run the government uh, there are eight uh, smaller parties are also there but they are they have to merge or they have to uh, listen to the chinese communist party only so they they are uh, working as the branches of the chinese communist communist party they are not different so in some countries only one party is allowed to control and run the government and these are known as one party systems and great example is china where only the chinese community party community uh, communist party is allowed to rule there so let us see in our mind there must be a question the, whether this one party system a good opinion a good choice to have in a country or there are some or whether there are some flaws or drawbacks also re, re, uh, regarding this one party system we can't consider one party system as a good opinion as a good option because this is not a democratic one because people will not have any choice you know to choose from the best party to to choose the best policies and programs you know, offered by different parties the people of the country the citizen of the country would not have any other option they will have to vote only to the uh, one party which is present in the country so it will not be a democratic option and that is why in class 9 you must have gone through the chapter what is democracy why democracy and where in that chapter we have discussed about why china is not a democratic country even though they used to say that they are democratic but they are not democratic and this is one of the major reason that they have only one party throughout the country such a vast such a large country is only having one country, one party any democratic system must allow at least two parties to compete in a democratic country there must be a competition between the political parties as well so that people can have the choice to choose the best one among them so any democratic system must allow at least two parties to compete in elections and provide a fair chance fair chance for the competing parties to come to power means uh, the ruling party must have uh, afraid must be afraid of must have a scare in their mind unke man mein dar hona chahiye that even they can lose the election whether when they are when there will be a new election re-election they can also have the chance of losing that scaring that afraid of losing will force them to work or do welfare for the country they that particular losing the election losing the power will force them to do the good things for the country and if they will don't if they will not have any type of scare or afraiding of the or of losing the election or losing the power then it will just turn into a dictatorship country you know that will turn into a like a dictatorship uh, rule, rule uh, rules and regulations in that country so this one party system has a very you, know, you can see 99.99% chance of being becoming a dictator type of ruling and you know, a dictatorship so that is not a good or fair chance one must have you know, uh, for a fair chance of competing in the election now uh, if someone will ask you or if there is a question you know what is one advantage uh, is there any advantage of good party one party system yes there is one advantage because there is only one party then they can make decision very quickly they don't have to ask anyone you know they don't have to debate with anyone they don't have to provide any type of uh, uh, any type of queries they don't have to provide any answer any queries from anyone so they can take the decision very quickly and this is one of the uh, good advantage of one party system in any country let us see another one what is the disadvantage disadvantage is what that it is open to dictatorship you know it is vulnerable that is open to dictatorship any time dictatorship can be 
implemented in the country and it can be established in the country and the other disadvantage is that it is against democracy that is the point we have discussed also in this one party system so so uh, <clears throat> welcome back students once again uh, we are now we are going to learn about a two party system in some countries usually changes <coughs> changes between two main and two main parties and the power usually change between two main parties bahut sare aise countries hain world mein jahan par do party system hai aur dono hi party jo hai election mein contest karte hain only two parties ha they might have several branches hai na other smaller parties may also contest election and uh, and earn few seats ha na few few uh, major uh, few uh, you can say minor parties may also be there who will win only few seats and uh, after election what they will do they will merge with one of the major party so mainly there are only two main parties in many of the countries but only the two main parties have a serious chance of winning majority of seats to form the government and that is known as two party system and the best examples are united states of america and the united kingdom they are the best examples of a two party system now let us see kya advantage ho sakta hai isme it is more stable and thoda one party system se ya multi party system se thoda ye dekhenge beech ka hai matlab it is more stable uh, than the multi party system i would like to say over here and disadvantages minorities may be left behind because majority aap dekhenge only one party or two party are fighting the election or contesting the election only two parties so they will have their opinions they they will have their views and they will they can and they can left out the views and the opinions or the desire or the requirement of the minorities which uh, of of those parties who are earning only few seats and who are only only few seats so they might be left behind and that is one of the disadvantage of this two party system and advantage is that it is more stable than multi party system that we are going to discuss in our next slide so let us move ahead uh, is there any question related to this one to the next slide ha uh, if several parties compete for power and more than two parties have a reasonable chance of coming to power either on their own strength or in alliance with others so we are we are we are talking about several parties not one not two not three not four that is no limit of number of parties there is no limit in the number of parties and more than two parties will have a fair chance of coming to power either by their own such as we have, we have seen in india ha na bjp party has won the election by their own ha na without any uh, help of any other party or in uh, in that country uh, some parties can really uh, make one alliance ha uh, na uh, can join together can merge together and they can contest the election so in that case we call it a multi party system if more than two parties are joining together and just electing uh, contesting the election means if there are several parties in the election thus in india we have a multi party system what happens really in this system the government is formed by various parties coming together in a coalition sometime not always uh, many time uh, one party can also win all the seats by majority they can make the government they can form the government but uh, mainly there are many times also that government can be formed by merging two or more than uh, two uh, multi uh, party systems together that is known as coalition government now when several parties in a multi party system they join hands for the purpose of what contesting election no? but individually they will speak many thing against each other but while uh, after making after joining hands with each other they will stop commenting on each other and they will just contest the election to win the power to win the election and they can really form the government when there is a multi party system they have great chance of forming the government when the two or more than two parties join hands together and contest election in such a case it is called an alliance or it is called as a front also 
so when the government will form it will be called as coalition government but when they are contesting in the elections they will be known as the alliance right? by the name of alliance they will be known as and in 2004 there were three alliances right? in the 2004 election in india there were three such major alliances in the year 2004 the national democratic alliance the united progressive alliance and the left front so these three were alliances who were contesting elections in the year 2004 now let us see what are the advantages of a multi party system kya advantages ho sakta hai it allows a variety of interest and opinions means because uh, you can see over here that three parties or more than three parties are jo joining together five maybe six maybe 10 of parties are joining together so there will be a variety of interests as well as opinions while taking a political decision or while taking a decision on behalf of the for the behalf uh, on the behalf of the people of the country so they will take care of different views and opinions or the interest of different people so that uh, someone must not be hurt you know someone must not be must not be disadvantaged with any particular decision so that is a great advantage of a multi multi party system that a lot of variety of interests and opinions can be clubbed together can be discussed together and then they can take decision but what is disadvantage let us see one of the disadvantage as well the multi party system often appears very messy you know bahut messy wo nazar aata hai yani ki bahut pechida bahut complex nazar aata hai the multi party system often and often we have seen that they used to fight among each other after winning the election that i want this department i want that particular ministry i will be the i will become the chief minister and i will become the prime minister they start fighting and after winning the election so that is quite messy also and it can really take a long time to take a particular decision as well in the multi party system and because there might be several session of debates and uh, really uh, debates on on a particular topic so the multi party system often appears very messy and that leads to political instability also and many times in india we have seen and in other countries maybe but in india what we have seen that in the multi party election when a particular alliance or a particular alliance they win the election then after winning they used to join or break hands from each other and you know, someone used to just break from the alliance and they used to join other party other major party and some other major party if they offer a lot of money to this winning winning uh, mlas you know, then they used to go to that particular party so that really uh, becomes very is messy and there is always a greater chance of instability means government can fall any time you know? the government can change any time in a multi party system if the alliance or the parties who have joined hands together if they just break hands and join others then really they can change the government in a one day, in a single day and that we have seen in bihar especially in our country in bihar government was changed in a single day you know the no, the day when we were uh, watching all this going on and the next day we have seen that the government have changed so in just one day it can change that is a great disadvantage also of a multi party system in our country hope you all understand about this one party uh, multi party system and two party system my dear students let us move to the next topic my dear students uh, which is the best party system who can answer this one kaun sa best party system hoga india mein ya koi bhi other countries mein one party system two party system or the multi party bye bye take care all of you my dear students that is all in this class hope you all like